person. Now, I'm not fucking telling uh, anything out of school here. Mr. Watley didn't get home till very late last night. Mr. Sundowners? Uh-huh. Uh, when I did the funny phone call to him, that instead of him playing on the air, he decided just to do verbatim. I wish you would have heard it, Hicks. It was beautiful. But that's showbiz, right? Right. Fuck it. Um, but he didn't get home till 11 o'clock or so on a Sunday night. Yeah, I was out just enjoying some people's company. Is the one-year secret ever been fulfilled yet? No, not yet. Nope. What happened to the person that you... You were in a conversation with somebody yesterday? Yeah, I was in a... Well, what I can say... Spaz, you did it! <laughs> Look at you! Let's celebrate! <laughs> I've got this whole ice chest full of fucking candy! I was in a very nice conversation yesterday mm -hmm. that was going on for quite a while. So I even, like you said, I got home late, so I stayed later than I was even yeah. planning on. <laughs> yeah. And so I thought things were working out. I was probably a good, I'd say, two, two and a half hours into the conversation. And I thought, this is going really well. Hmm. But I noticed this person kept checking their phone and messages and stuff. Let, now, let me pick it up from my... Normally, if Watley goes out, he's home by fucking uh, dark. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in this case, he was not. So I said... Now I go like this. Oh, uh, I say to the girls, I go, he must be up to the devil's business. Uh, you know what I mean? Maybe this is it. Maybe, maybe he's finally breaking that cherry. Both of them say, yeah, or maybe he's laying in a pool of his own blood. Maybe he stepped into a fucking bear trap. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> my initial thing was, this is great. Fez is doing something positive. Mm -hmm. They both get into my head, or something horrible happened that <laughs> he can't call you. Well, the problem is neither one is outside the realm of imagination. Right. They're both totally possible outcomes. <laughs> Right, but when you can't reach your friend, I think that you should try to leap to something good happened. Because let's face it, if something good happened, you can't do anything about it. And if something bad happened, you can't do anything about it. So you might as well just think something good happened. But then they get it in my head. Hey, he's got the bad heart. Plus, he's been throwing up blood. Um, plus, he's, you know. He gets lost, he panics, he gets scared, he can't find his way home. So, we were running a little bet whether it was good or bad. So you meet a person. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. And got in a really great conversation. Yeah, yeah. Just watching some football, talking about football, that sort of thing. And you were feeling great about yourself. I was feeling really good about myself, Ronnie. Why is that? Because you felt like you connected? I felt like I connected, and it felt, like, very easy, too. Uh -huh. Like, it was like, this is going so well. I'm it, I, it, I thought it, I was doing well at it, where I had thought in the past, oh, you know, what an idiot. Now, why would you think that you were, you, you, you speak for a living, right? Mm -hmm. Why would you think that you weren't speaking well at any, at any time? Um, maybe if it was like, if I was too forward or something, okay. just, just never knowing it, what boundaries did are. Did it feel as comfortable as if you were talking to me or Dave? Yeah, it felt comfortable. But I mean, is that, is that the, um, other times it doesn't feel that comfortable for you? Right. Yeah. yeah. So it just felt, Hey, this is like, I'm talking to one of my buddies. Exactly. All right. Spaz. Now, was it flirtatious? Um, a little bit on my part. Okay. Yeah. And you're not getting anything back? No, not real. I mean, I'm getting, you know, a lot of nice eye contact. Yeah. I'm getting smiles, you know. Now, I, I just want to point this out to people. I've, Fez and I have known each other our whole adult lives. These kind of conversations uh, never came up before. And all these years. Wow. Two decades. We've never had the, really? <laughs> so then what? So this is a little bit exciting for me to even have this much of a conversation uh i, I need to know this mm -hmm. were you wearing the stupid wig no i'll be honest i was not wearing the wig uh going uh more skinhead yeah <laughs> well i had a cap on all right let me see take the wig off 
Right, that actually looks pretty good. That looks normal. Certain people look. What mm. kind of cap were you wearing? I was wearing a Buccaneers cap. God, that's a loser cap. <laughs> All right. But it was a nice khaki one. It wasn't like a crazy, you know, over the top pirate hat I was wearing. Well, you get yourself a nice John Malkovich beret. Let the fucking guy know you're ready to rock the fucking, uh, rock the Casbah. <laughs> All right, so hours go by. Yes. You and this person, swollen beer. Were you buying? Yes, I bought a round. One round? Yeah. Why only one? Uh, well, I, I like bought a pitcher. And that lasted hours? Oh, no, no, but I mean, he was, you know, when he already. He? Well, no, the, he, the bartender. Oh. Had already served this person. You know, so it, it took a while to catch up. I don't understand. Drink-wise. <laughs> we were off drink-wise. So, like, when I was empty, this other person wasn't. Oh. By the way, I don't think the picture seems like it's made for romance. <laughs> I don't know that. Well, whole... I thought that was like a sharing thing. I'd go, I'd go cocktails. Were you drinking straight out of the picture? <laughs> That's what I, I do. It wasn't a frat party. <laughs> Fred Flintstone, I was not. Fuck cups. All right, so this is all going great. Yeah, it's going really good. And first time ever, really, that something like this. First time you've made a connection in any of these places. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Okay. So, when did reality fall? Probably about, two, like I said, about two, two and a half hours into it when significant, uh, when the person's significant other showed up. Oh. Uh. And apparently they had been waiting for this other person. You know, that was the whole, you know, checking the, the phone and the text messages and everything else. So how'd that make you feel? Um, pretty let down, but I, but I stuck with it. I don't know why. Like, but I was enjoying myself so much. And I was enjoying this other person so much that Thinking I just... Thinking about Minaj? That I was just... Did the name, did the thought Minaj ever go into your head? You know what? It never did. Mm. It never did. I don't know why that always comes up in my head. <laughs> and the significant other wasn't saying much at all, so and didn't seem to even be in, that much into football. So I don't know. I think maybe there was something in my head where it's like, I could steal this person. Oh. Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe it wasn't the best choice for progress mm -hmm. to stay with it. You could have, yeah, kept... Instead uh, of moving on to, like, another person. So how did you feel last night after you got home? Um, kind of disappointed yeah, and let you, down. Your email to me was um, that you didn't sleep all night. Yeah, yeah, because I kept thinking about it. I think not so much... Well, all right, I'm having trouble putting this out. Um, about the possibilities... Because my head runs fast forward. I'm complete. I please. I completely have no idea what you're talking about. So just talking to this person and having a great conversation and spending a really nice evening with someone in my head as that's happening, I'm already moving into relationship mode. Like in what? Like um, you know, oh, this would be nice. We could get up on Sunday mornings, go have breakfast somewhere, and then head off to the bar to watch football. So it really so runs fast you, forward. You're not even thinking a uh, one-nighter or a date. You're thinking marriage. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, like I, I leap. I mean, I go through all of that, but it leaps that far ahead. Okay. Yeah, that's a little nutty, mm -hmm. but you're doing more than you've ever done in your life. Oh, that's for sure. Just talking to people. But I've got to talk to someone who's available. Well, and again, I don't know whether you're you're used to reading signals and all, but if this other person thought that you were even interested in that, mm -hmm. and that person was interested in you, they wouldn't have their significant other drop by. Right. You know what I mean? Like... Uh, if I was on the prowl, you know, I'd be thinking, uh, how can I keep both these dangling? You know what I mean? So this person wasn't even thinking at all what you were thinking. No, and like I said, there was no flirty stuff back. 
or at least... What's flirty for you? Give me the Fez flirt. I would say probably a touch, like uh, maybe a touch on the leg, you know. Uh, that's creepy. Pat on the back, <laughs> that sort of thing. Yeah, that's creepy. I would never do that to a chick. Yeah, I don't think, like, touching them as you talk, mm -hmm. I think that's kind of a little bit of a turnoff. I don't think that that's flirting. That's evading uh, personal space. <laughs> It might be good for a rapist, though. <laughs> so you're waiting for a touchback? Yeah. <laughs> Take it on the 20 yard line. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Didn't get a touchback. Yeah. I never heard of the touching stuff. And then I went through the thing, too, of what did they see in that other person that well, showed up? Well, maybe he wasn't creepy with a wig. Not my kid. Yeah, you're fine. You're fucking. You look good. But me and the significant other were both totally different types. So I thought. Then I kind of thought. Well, maybe he just goes for a more. You know. Uh, who's, who's he? Me. Mm. You know, it's a different so you look. Call, call yourself he. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my dating self. Oh, I forgot to tell you what he uh, ate for uh, brunch yesterday. He had eggs and. Uh, <laughs> He hates eggs. <laughs> Start working on pronouns with him. <laughs> you're really bad at that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, well, you think about types. I think anyone who has a type is kind of a loser. Really? Um, so, yeah. When someone says, mm. oh, this is the type of woman I like, they really don't like women. They're fucking trying to go with some kind of strange fucking freak that they're into. For, you know what I mean? Mm. They, they don't see people as individuals. Oh, okay. So I just, you know, not that I was going to win this person away. But let but, me ask you this, because I know you've been struggling with that. What's to stop you from just being a little more upfront about it? Just saying, instead of like trying to be like the interesting person or say the right things or whatever... What's wrong with saying, hey, I'm new at this, seems a little weird, I'm out, you know. You know what I'm saying? You ever, did you ever be that upfront with people? Or are you a little ashamed of that? Um, I, I guess a little embarrassed of it. Yeah, I don't know. I think in a woman, I like a little vulnerability and honesty, you know? Yeah. Like, if you saw a woman who said, like, you were uh, in a bar or something, and she said... You know, I was married for fucking 10 years. I haven't really dated in, in, you know, 14 years after how long I was in. You'd be like, oh, hey, you know, it's no big deal. You know what I mean? You're like, I think that that would actually be like if somebody's a little vulnerable like that, it would be a fucking honest moment. Where I think with Dave, a turn off for you is like you don't know how to feel about Blink-182. Oh. You don't know the truth. I don't want to know the truth. You know the truth. That's why you don't want to know the truth. <laughs> I'm like, it's out there. I can't handle the truth. Nicholson was right. There? Yes. Like in the next Files book? <laughs> mm -hmm. I liked it. I liked that joke. So, but I stuck it out and I ended up staying out very, very late. Hmm. I mean, it didn't change anything. The outcome, you know, didn't change. So does that make you mad? Well, not mad, but just a little sad. Well, why couldn't you sleep last night? Because I just couldn't quit thinking about this person. Like that they were the best ever? Right, yeah. Like I just, like I said, I start thinking about possibilities and it's runaway train. And it's hard to get my mind settled back down. Speaking of runaway train, was she on the road with them or is this... Oh, come on. <laughs> Thanks, Fess. <laughs> you, li you like when David gets hurt. Yeah, hmm. it's good. Uh, what does other person do for a living? Um, I think it was some sort of software stuff. When people start talking about their computer jobs, I care. have I have no huh. idea what they're talking about. But I think it's some sort of software writing. Well, I just want to say to Brazilian Julie, feel free to call us. 
Man, is she venting on her Twitter. Oh, boy. Listen, listen to this Twitter. And I guess this is it. And by the way, is there anyone we like more than Brazilian Julie? No. No one. No. She's lovely. One of the most uh, beautiful, bright, fun people I've ever met in my life. And that's a total fucking shoot. Just a really delightful person to be around. But this is her Twitter from three hours ago. Holy shit, what a dumb asshole. Way to make me feel repulsive, you fucking dick. I hope you choke on her pubic hair, you fucking cunt. Whoa. Wow. God damn it, you fucking cocksucker, scumbag, asshole, douche. Dumb lip dick fuck face. I hope she's not talking to. You know, I wonder who she's talking to. She says she's majorly me. venting. I have a ton of shit to say, and the one person I want to direct it towards is a fucking coward. Wow. Imagine if it was like just John she was yelling at. I don't think so. You never know. She might not like. Jean shorts. So it sounds like she might be available, Fez, if you're still out there in the <laughs> single world. You could do much work. Um, Choking on pubic hair, though, wouldn't be a bad way to go out. Is it even possible? If it was a well, thick hair. Sure is. Thick hair. You're with a Samoan. Yeah. They got very thick hair. A lot of people of color. Well, Fezzi, I know like you're a little down about it, but you got to feel somewhat better that you're making some kind of progress. Here you are. Like, if I would have told you uh, a year ago when you told me the secret, and I said, don't worry, this time next year you'll be getting ignored in a bar, I'm sure you'd be thrilled. <laughs> 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 it would have definitely felt like progress a year ago. Well, I will give you this. <laughs> I will give you this. Oh, Lord. <laughs> For the first time ever of not hearing from you in all these years, there was also a little light of hope of us thinking, maybe he's not had a heart attack. Maybe he's having fun. And that has never come up in a conversation about you. <laughs> well, I was definitely having fun. Yes. I wish I had more progress to report, but... I was definitely having fun. So that's good. Mm -hmm. Didn't work out the way you want it over the next 30 years. You can't stop yourself when you just start to, you know, because even let's suppose if that, you know, if this was the greatest person ever, mm -hmm. when they found out that you were getting that <laughs> heavy in your mind. Oh, oh. I know. That's, that's another thing that worries me. That if someone is interested, hello, psycho, how are you? <laughs> so you think you're yourself a psycho? <laughs> yeah, like it's, oh my God, I, you, I just wonder how bad I will smother this person. I want to get both you and Brazilian Julie having weird, weird days. Yeah. Sometimes it's good to be married. I don't got to put up with the dating rat race. I'm you off never, the market. You never ever were much of a dater anyway, right? No. I was not a dater at all. I would hope. And up you know, you. even in his own imbecilic type thing, Fuzzy, you know, you're probably never gonna be good at dating. It's just you're not that comfortable or even interested. But once you've made that, you know, one good friend, uh huh, you, you you stop worrying about that. Right, that's all it takes. I try to tell myself that too. You'll never have to do it again. One good connection. Yeah. It's almost like when you get your driver's license. You forget all those fucking questions that you learned. <laughs> but you, now, yep. the fact is, you got to fucking study those questions to get your license. Right. But after that, what do you give a shit? How many lengths are behind you? You don't fucking remember <laughs> once. Am I the right <laughs> number of lengths behind at 55 miles an hour? Uh, well, you I don't give a shit. I still don't understand which was a uh, left turn and what's a stop. Like, your arm signals were supposed to be... We're talking about Fez now. Right. Okay, yeah. Blink-182. I thought we were talking about driving. Jay in Austin, you're on my Fez. Fezzy, I just want to say that I want to be the proud, number one, schoolgirl Fezzy card holder of the century, because I love how you play that game. See you. 
Well, you are rocking a little bit of a schoolgirl thing there. Oh, yeah. Well, there's a, there's a naiveness to me. There's another thing. One time uh, Fez met a person. Same place or different? Were you at the piano bar? Different, but yeah, different place. Yeah. Person. And this had to be a long time ago, right? I never even talked about it on the air. But. Mm-mm. So it was the same deal like met someone, seemed like a nice person. Uh, what we tracked this person down? Facebook, MySpace page. Not only that, but the person was from Sweden, and he went to a translator and had everything translated. So I could see what they were talking about. <laughs> and weeks later, I think it was about two weeks later, uh, I'm out front, you know, smoking. I see Watley. I see he's upset like he got some days. What's going on? I can't get this person out of my head. I never did get the call. I don't know whether they were lying to me. I go, how long did you talk to him, this person? Oh, an hour and a half, two hours. Weeks later. He's so ready to be loved. <laughs> I fell head over heels. Did you, though? I think so. I mean, is that what head over heels is? I don't think it's stalky nutty. When you... <laughs> <laughs> my new theory. I would just say this. If a chick that I met mm -hmm. fell that kind of head over heels on one conversation where looking into my personal life, I'd probably take it to security. I would probably think immediately, holy shit, I fucked up, I'm with a nut. <laughs> and this person's going to kill my rabbit. Well, <laughs> I definitely felt nuts doing it. Like, you know, I felt like, you know what, this isn't the right thing to be doing, Fez. Yeah. But I also couldn't help myself either. And that was, again, from another one evening's conversation. By the way, somebody sent me a picture of uh, Blink-182 with somebody we know. By the, uh, and the person who sent me this is an old listener from years ago who I didn't think was still around anymore. Oh. We know some nutty people. <laughs> See, people, your files are out there. People are going to look you up. You. You are going to look people up. <laughs> but when you did that that time, mm -hmm. I thought maybe, you know. Because I didn't want to tell you to slow it down because you're so new at it, you know. But I did, right, yeah. I did worry a little bit about uh, what you're expecting another person to do for you. Yeah, and even last night. I mean, with last night's conversation with last night's person, I remembered what happened with the person from Sweden. So I didn't even, once the significant other showed up, I didn't, there wasn't, I wasn't even going to try. By the way, did that just come out of nowhere for you? Because that's like a movie scene that happens to the neighbor friend. You know what I mean? Right. And, like, oh, and by the way, this is my... You know, I'll say girlfriend and try to keep this fucking thing going. This is my girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't feel too good when it hit me. <laughs> but I didn't, you know, try to exchange any digits or email, anything like that. Why don't you drop your card? This is the big cat. Just have a big fucking prowling cat. <laughs> How about just... Uh, I love that. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> just have a picture of yourself on the internet... With the phrase, I will find out your entire life. <laughs> have, a, have your name, your phone number, and just the, lo the little slogan, you are going to regret this. <laughs> and hand it out. Guaranteed. But why not put your number out there? Because, that, well, with yesterday, it's like it didn't seem like it was available. Well, you don't know. You never know.